So today we're going to be making robots using place value blocks. And here's the super fun thing. You guys get to you, you guys get to cut out some colored um, different blocks and you're going to get to glue them on a paper to make your robot. But here's the tricky part. You have a rule. Are you ready for the rule? Yes. The rule is you can have no more than nine of each piece. Okay. Okay. You can have nine or eight or seven or six, but no more than nine. So when you get your place value pieces, you are going to cut them out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I'm going to need that many. I might even just take six. I need Um, right now is instruction time. So you're going to get some of the pieces. You can choose to have all the same color. Or you can choose to have different colors, depending on how your teacher wants to do it. So in Mrs. Blind's class, you need to pay attention to Mrs. Blind's and what instructions that she gives you. Okay? So I have some tens. I have some ones. What I need now is some hundreds. I think I'm just going to use one hundred. You guys might, you can use more. This is a nice big paper that you have room to make a robot on. So, kind of stuff, huh? so once I get my pieces, I'm going to cut out carefully on the lines. I don't want to cut out each individual square on here. That would take a long time and make a mess and be a problem. I'm just going to cut out on the edge all the way around my pieces that I'm going to use. And once I get those cut out, Please make sure that you put your garbage in the garbage can because we don't need a bunch of garbage around our room. Then I'm going to cut out some tins. You guys, it'll take a little while. Do you see how I'm not rushing? It, it takes some time to cut right on the lines. And this is going to make it look a lot nicer if you cut it right on the lines. Okay? So, getting a couple of tens cut out, some hundreds, making sure my garbage gets put away in the garbage can. And I want you guys to be thinking, how could I, what might my robot look like? Yours is probably going to look different than mine, right? You might want hands and feet and arms and legs, body parts. Whatever you can think of that you think is going to make it look cool, that's that's what you're going to do. So you get to be creative. I am making a video right now, so can you turn your voice off, please? Nobody should have scissors or glue yet. I haven't excused anybody to get their stuff. These level ones are going to obviously take like a lot of being careful to cut these out. So. Once you get what you need cut out, make sure you're checking on the floor that you didn't drop them all over the place. My robot's going to be kind of simple, but I'm going to let you guys do it with more details. I just don't want you to have to wait forever for me. Okay, once you've got your things cut out and you're being super careful, then you are going to get to glue them onto your paper. So this can is my paper. I'm going to take this, and I want this 100 to be the body of my robot. And I think, hmm, I don't know. I could do antennas like this. Ooh, that could even be the head of my robot, that couldn't it? Like or I could put arms. I think what I'm going to do is put some arms on my robot. And then I'm going to put some little eyes up here at the top. Okay. Now, you're probably going to want more than that on your robot, right? Yeah. That's okay. I'm just going to do this for now. And I'm going to show you what I need to do. Now that I have my robot made, I'm going to tell about my robot using this little paper here. So, let's see if I can show this better with my video. Oh, dear. This is always so hard. 
to see everything. Well, we're going to do that. That's about a good idea. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to first first thing I do is always the same. I Obviously, you're not going to write Mrs. Smith, and you're going to put your, your own number. Now, it says my robot has blank hundreds, blank tens, blank ones. Who can tell me on my robot how many hundreds I have? Emma? One. I have one hundred. I'm going to put a one. Okay, who can tell me how many tens my robot has? Um, Leonardo? Two. Two. One, two. And who can tell me how many ones my robot has? Alicia? Two. Two. Mine's kind of boring. You guys can do you guys can do way more creative robots than me, huh? That kind of looks kind of nice. So now I show that I have one hundred, two tens, and two ones. I can show that in expanded form. Who can help me with expanded form? How am I gonna write that in expanded form? Leonardo? Okay, right. One hundred. Twenty. Okay, and then twenty. And then two. So my my number of cubes that I used for my robot is. Who can say that number all together? If you can say it, go ahead and say it. Go. One hundred twenty-two. Yes. One hundred twenty-two. Now, if you want, Jose, put that away, please. That's dangerous. If you want, you can draw the quick picture down here. I should have left a place for it. But I could draw 100, two tens, and two ones. So this is going to be kind of fun, right? You guys get to make a robot, but then you need to tell me the numbers. And you can glue this on the bottom of your page so that you can see your robot on the top and your information about your robot on the bottom. Do you guys understand? Yeah. All right. So let me stop this for a sec.